talk about the scrimmage. Well, I was uh, I was pleased the way it ended. I thought we ended with uh, a lot of energy and uh, did a lot of pace today, uh, more so than the first practice, and uh, it was good. I thought, uh, you know, again, both sides of the ball did some good things, and uh, we'll have a lot of things we have to work on. But really, I thought the energy was great. We got a great chance to work on a lot of special teams, again, which was good, uh, with live contact on both our coverage units, both punt and uh, punt return, kickoff, kickoff return. And uh, again, it was, uh, it was a good tempo all day long, I thought. So uh, again, we've got a long way to go. A lot of young guys got a ton of reps today, which was great. And uh, we'll continue to try to get back. Questions? Yeah, will, this, will this scrimmage move you forward a lot in terms of locking down on the guys you've got to like get the reps for? To, to the that's what we're hoping. That, that's what we're hoping. We're hoping that this is going to give us uh, a significant evaluation tool figure out where we're going to be heading the next two weeks. And, uh, you know, like I said, there was a lot of young guys in there today. This was kind of their preseason game, if you will. You know, they have a better idea of what's happening. Uh, I think they're learning a little bit more about how to play at this level. And uh, so uh, we still have a lot of guys that are, you know, have big eyes out there you know, when they get in there. But, again, that will go away with the, with the reps. Uh, but hopefully this would be a great, uh, a great tool for us to move forward. And, figure out where we're going to go next in terms of personnel. Is that for having a chance to kind of work on some of those mistakes? Well, we'll see. You know, I'm not really sure, uh, Jason. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll, uh, it, look, it appeared to me that there's uh, a little more of a comfort level today uh, than the last one we had. Uh, but again, you know, I'm more proud of their effort. And, and they're, they're really trying to focus with a lot of information, especially when we go with the pace periods and everything's moving fast. And there's a lot of moving parts in there, both offensively and defensively. And uh, so I'm just I'm, I'm more impressed with the young guys pushing through this part of camp, which is, you know, they're tired, they're beat up, uh, but they're really trying to push through it. So the energy level uh, and, and the level of focus, I thought, was better today. How do the quarterbacks do? Uh, like I said, you know, uh, we'll know more when we watch the tape, but, you know, all three of them did some nice things. Um, you know, we know more than we watch it. Do you have any kind of deadline, I guess, in mind where, you know, this is the last day we got to, we got to decide on the quarterback on this day? Kind no, of we don't. We don't. That, that's, that's not what we're doing. We're really more in the mindset of when we feel like there's a guy that's separated himself and, you know, we believe he's the one that gives us the, the absolute best chance to win. Uh, and we'll, we'll settle in on that guy. Do you anticipate that you probably got enough information after the second scrimmage to make that decision this week? Uh, I don't I don't know that I can say that. Uh, you know, I, I think the process will continue on, the evaluation process I'm talking about. Uh, but again, we'll know more after this. Gene, uh, the SEC presidents are reportedly meeting this weekend to discuss expansion. Having spent some time in, in Texas, could you see Texas A&M as being a, a positive addition to the league? You know, I, I really, I'm focused on Auburn football. We got a great commissioner, we got great ADs, we got great presidents. They'll make all those calls, and um, I'm sure that they'll do what's best for the league. Uh, right now, I'm worried about Auburn football.